Today, we're going to look at eight themes from The Lord of the Rings and focus specifically on the scales and chords that make them work. We'll start with the most simple and work our way up in complexity. Let's begin with the Shire theme, which is in good old D major. This theme is in a standard major key with no borrowed notes or chromatics from any other keys or anything fancy like that. It's safe, it's pleasant, it's positive, and it's wholesome. It's pretty much everything you need to represent the Shire and the Hobbits. If we just change a few notes and play it in D minor, it's pretty obvious it's no longer really appropriate. I also want to point out in this video, I'm using the term theme in the sense of a leitmotif, like a specific motivic idea that fits with a certain character or setting, not in the classical music sense of like an eight bar theme. The Realm of Gondor theme is a nice example of the Aeolian mode or natural minor. Natural minor has a sad quality without the bite of classical harmonic minor. In D natural minor, the seventh note is a C. But a lot of classical pieces will use something called the harmonic minor, which actually raises that C to a C sharp, making that seventh a leading tone, leading us back home. In natural minor, we don't raise that leading tone, so we end up with a softer, more gentle sound. The natural minor is more open sounding. It's still serious and somber, but doesn't have that classical music sound. So for the realm of Gondor, it feels like a good choice. Another type of minor mode is Dorian, which is used for the Rohan fanfare. What makes Dorian different from just natural minor is that the sixth scale degree is raised. So instead of this, we get this, which is a slightly brighter sound. And why that's important is because it changes the four chord from a four minor to a four major. So in natural minor, one, four, one is this. And in Dorian, it's this. That one minor to four major chord progression is a classic fantasy adventure sound. So for Rohan, a great kingdom of men, taking the seriousness of a minor key with that heroic lift and boldness of a four major chord seems like a solid choice. So those first three are all pretty standard modes. So let's start to stretch a little bit and take a listen to the Lothlorien theme. The Lothlorien theme is the last one we're gonna look at that sticks to one single mode, but it's an unusual mode because it's actually one of the modes of harmonic minor. We already saw that the harmonic minor is the natural minor scale, but with a raised seventh degree. So here's B flat natural minor. And here's B flat harmonic minor. So if we take that B flat harmonic scale but actually start on the fifth degree and make that home or our tonic, we actually end up with a very different scale. This is called Phrygian dominant. The Lothlorien are elves, and unlike the elves of Rivendell, which we'll get to in a bit, they're more suspicious of men. Using a mode of the harmonic minor scale not only just gives them an exotic sound, it also makes them feel more removed like those themes from Gondor and Rohan we already heard. Doug Adams points out in his book, The Music of the Lord of the Rings, which 
by the way, is my main resource for this video, that the Phrygian dominant has a Middle Eastern sound to it. So it evokes a certain foreign quality to Western listeners who are not as used to that scale. Now let's start to look at themes that mix and match different keys or modes. We'll start with the fellowship theme, which is probably my favorite. What's amazing about the fellowship theme is that on top, the melody is just in D natural minor. But the whole thing is harmonized with major chords, especially that D major chord right at the beginning. So in order to have all these major chords, Shore has to mix and match different parts of D major and D minor together. We end up with these things called chromatic medians, which are chords where the roots are a third apart but they don't actually come from the same key. For example, the D major and F major right at the start of the theme. In an older video on this topic, I've already talked about how major chords from outside your key feel more major, and minor chords from outside your key feel more minor. That more major quality gives the whole theme a lift and heroicism that we wouldn't get just from playing D major on its own. Here's what that sounds like if we start on D minor instead. And here's the D major. The minor is so much less exciting and just kind of meh. It completely lacks the heroicism and strength of major. By the way, if any of this is interesting or you're enjoying the video, please leave a comment below. It seems to be the best way to tell YouTube to keep promoting it. And if you don't know what to write, how about you share your most Lord of the Rings relevant emoji. The fellowship theme is a good example of mixing major with major. So now let's look at how Gollum's theme mixes minor with minor. There is no standard key that has both B flat minor and F sharp minor seven, which means once again, we have chromatic medians. These are both minor chords whose roots are a third apart. The minor chord from outside the key feels more minor, which makes sense for a dark twisted character like Gollum. And it's actually possible to mix non-diatonic major and minor qualities, which we'll see next in the Rivendell theme. The core idea of the Rivendell theme is this rising and falling line. You might notice in this line, that that F natural stands out because in A major, it's supposed to be an F sharp. The F natural pitch has to be borrowed from the A minor mode. And so by bringing in chords and pitches from A minor, but with an A major foundation, we get this very bittersweet sound. It feels like a good match for the elves of Rivendell who are ancient and wise, but more receptive of men than the Lothlorien. So here, Howard Shore is using mode mixture to get a very complex and rich sound but for the ring theme, he takes it to another level. Here is just the melody for the theme, The History of the Ring. Doug Adams calls this A minor in the book. This feels a lot more like E minor to me, especially because of that fall into the E at the end of it. But anyway, here it is with the chords. He has E minor on the top with F minor on the bottom, which are two chords that are not supposed to go together. He's using polytonality. Tonality is the idea that the music gravitates around a central pitch or tonic. Like an E minor, the tonic is E. That feels like home. With polytonality, we have more than one tonic at the same time. So on top, our ear is thinking E is home. On the bottom, our ear thinks F is home. The ring is powerful and seductive and has all these many layers to it. But in just two bars of music, Howard Shore manages to capture that complexity. Compare that to the Shire theme, which was in just plain happy D major. 
The hobbits are the good guys, plain and simple. The ring is something much more sinister. All of these themes have various rhythms and steps and leaps, but it's the choice of mode that really makes one theme fit for a character that wouldn't really fit for a different one. A lot of times modes get explained in kind of a weird backwards way. So if you really want to understand modes and how they can be used to create different moods and emotions, you should check out this video here, which if you've never heard of modes should help get you up to speed. And if you've heard of them before, but didn't really understand them should help you make sense of it all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.